Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Don't forget to select your deck that you want to use once again and head on over to the next room to see what Ellen DeGeneres is doing and uh... It's Courtney! Ellen! Kidnapped Courtney! And though you can't talk to Courtney from here, unfortunately. How could you, Ellen? How could you? I am Ellen of Team GR- Oh! Thank Garcias, it's not Ellen DeGeneres. She'd be a lot more energetic. This is definitely gotta be a different Ellen. Whew. You and I, uh, a card battle. You must fight. If you win, that woman, Grandmaster Courtney, will get her freedom. Battle, special condition, Evie. Or contained in deck. Dang it! I have to tweak my deck again. Comply in battle. Oh, yes. Eevee, not enough. Deck, put it more. Return later. Okay, okay. So you have a nap while I do a little bit of deck modifications. For the sake of speed, I'm gonna actually take out the Wiggly Tough line and. I guess I'll plop in two of those cuties, then two of those cuties. So now we have the four Eevees. And I think also, what we're gonna do here is probably take out this Mewtwo. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and just hopefully, potentially, maybe, possibly, Dark Vaporeon it up. Maybe that'll work out. I mean, I don't have that many Dark Vaporeon, so we're just gonna have to deal with that and probably should rebalance our energy accordingly ever so slightly for the reduction of the psychicness. Got it? Good. Ready? You four Eevees, your deck. Put them in. Do that and we may battle. No. Oh, do. What you like? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you must be the life of the party. Rises. Four. Eevee Showdown Deck! <laughs> so, obviously her deck is based around the Eevees, so I just kind of threw down a couple Eevees in my deck. Oh, there's one. <laughs> but I'm gonna be probably star it up instead and just saving the Eevee for a potential Dark Vaporeon. See how things roll out. I go first. There's a seal. I place that seal. I put that water. And I attack with the slapper. <laughs> um, she's kind of. She kind of doesn't have bench Pokemon. So she doesn't have one. I win on the next turn, and that's, that's what it looks like. Oh no! <laughs> gonna, let's, let's restart this battle. It just. <laughs> you know, just give her another chance. <laughs> just, that was just a bad shuffle. I was defeated. Yeah, mission booster pack. We'll, we'll, we'll give her another bad laugh to this. Dark wheezing. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> 20 damage times the total number of coughings, wheezings, and dark wheezing. So I could do a lot of poop like the boyfriend's. Of Needle Queen can do, and it's also got a twofold coin flip, which is always good. You can do poison, you can do paralysis, it's always good. So it's not too bad of a critter, except for that low HP. But if you get paralysis with the coin flips, it lasts for a pretty good amount of time. I'm regular old Lickitung, and I just can do some paralysis, can do some confusion. Um, oh, yeah, this is kind of an interesting card from the Rocket Set Challenge here. If you, they accept your challenge, they decline, you draw two cards. But if they accept, you search your decks for any number of basic Pokemon and put them face down onto your benches. So you could combine that with the Wigglytuff. <laughs> Assuming that they kind of, you know, accept your challenge. But they may not. And just kind of turn this card into a bill. So this might actually be quite a good splashable card to plop in this deck, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Game Boy Dark Haunter. It's got a harass attack. 
And a randomly selected trainer card from your opponent's hand is shuffled back into the deck if they get heads. Pretty powerful, I've got to say. Uh, I think we've seen this coughing before. Yes, and there's Bill's Teleporter, regular old Bulbasaur. This is the one that I was talking about with the Leech Seed. Yeah, but I'm not using that Bulbasaur typically because it's a little bit slower than the other ones. So yeah, I'm just going for that Rocket Zoo Bat. We just do a little ram. It's fluffy, it doesn't do that much damage, and a bite! Its teeth are not that long, just does 20 damage. <laughs> um, and that's about it here. Oh! Or not, I guess you get two boosters. Dark- <laughs> How many Gyarados am I gonna get? How many? How many? <laughs> I think I've got enough of them. Please, please give me other rare cards. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're strong. Courtney. Free. Yay! Where'd that bridge come from? Does it just pop out of the floor like a, a retractable drawbridge? I'm Grandmaster Courtney, the last who was caught by Team GR Cowards. But, ho oh, oh, I'm happy that you came to rescue me, Mint. Because I'm so relieved, I'll give you this card. Say hello to Promo Arcanine! Level 34! <laughs> so, this Arcanine, it's less energy costs than regular Arcanine, so it might be something that you'd like to consider. It may do 20 extra damage. So, th so you're hoping for 30 for 2 energy, which is eh, okay, I guess, but might do 10 as well. But the Flames of Rage... This is, well, kind of like the Rage Attack, <laughs> or Flail Attack in a way, just 40 plus the damage. So, with 70 HP, if you max out on the damage counters, why hello there 100 damage attack. <laughs> Please use it to empower your future card battles. I think I'll return to the Pokemon Dome. Oh, but keep in mind, if you have a lot of damage counters on Arcanine, chances are it's going to be knocked out on the next turn, so that 100 damage will usually be pretty short-lived. Unless you have something like Defender or something like that, or, yeah. Remember, at the Pokemon Dome, I'll be waiting! Ho ho ho! Woo! <laughs> Bernard. Go. <laughs> or Eevee in your deck could do that. We may battle. Yes. Rises four. So here's our rematch. Because that was that was not good. <laughs> now watch him just sweep me. Because I'm giving another her another chance. Uh ooh, now I got another star you, but I don't have the water for it, so I will save that for now. And hope for the coin flip. Yep. And there's the water, okay. Uh ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 you got a pretty powerful little basic Pokemon there. <laughs> uh, oh. That could be a problem. I think I should then instead focus on Kadabra if it's possible. Come on, Paralysis, yes! If it's possible. Because, you know, it's got the 50 damage and maybe I'll be able to get two head coin flips. Uh, with ye ol' Abra over here. Oh, she's not powering up- Oh, I was expecting her to go for the Thunder Punch for the one-hit KO. Really? That can work in my favor. <laughs> because this is gonna leave it with 50 HP, and then when I evolve it up to Kadabra on the next turn, assuming she doesn't energy removal me, it is a goner. Dark Jolteon is a floppin'. Onto the bench, and I go and Kadabra. Oh my. Oh dear. And also energy removal. For Dark Jolteon! <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it. Super Psy! Four for eyes! Card. <laughs> uh, gimme, gimme, gimme! Ooh, Professor Oak! <laughs> yes! Always nice to see Professor Oak. Uh, Eevee's got some resistances, but not that much resistance, so. Uh, two attacks will take it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, little Eevee. You're so cute! So cute! But you've got to go down! <laughs> oh, Professor Oak. Okay, now she's gonna have some fuel. Like, we'll have some fuel when we play our Professor Oak. Uh, Magmar of the Stalling Variety. Very nice critter. We'll see how that turns out against my future Starmie. 
Uh, I wonder if I should just Professor Oak now or later. Uh, I'll just super suck. Because I, I don't like, I want to kind of use up the water energy since it's one per turn anyway and I'm in good position. So it's not like I need the Professor Oak, you know, so. It's like if I, no, I want to accelerate things a little bit, I'll use Professor Oak. But other than that, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident in the current setup. Oh, I even have Defender for Kadabra, if need be. Um, Staryu. Yeah, I might as well. There you go. And fine, fine, I'll Professor Oak. I said I was going to stop holding out the cards like Professor Oak and just play them, but I haven't really been doing that. I'm always trying to get the most out of everything in my turns, so... <laughs> Alright, Super Psy. You do your thing. And Kadabra will live uh, to see another day. She's probably gonna retreat into Magmar or something. Really? Okay. I wasn't really expecting that, because I'm getting low on prize cards here. She probably doesn't want me to be that close to the end of the game. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I guess she might be working on Dark Jolteon to do a bunch of damage to Kadabra, but... I don't... Uh, oh, no, not even that! <laughs> Maybe it would take forever for this Magmar to knock out Kadabra, even with the poison. Assuming she even gets the poison. Okay, she got the poison. Well, I mean, it, it would take, I guess you could say, forever for the, uh... uh because she still got to attack. Oh, no, actually it will! If she, because she got that, that's uh, 10 more damage after my turn. But then I've got... <laughs> a whole host of other stuff to come in anyway, so yeah, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. Because I, couldn't she have a destroyed <laughs> Cadaver with the Dark Jolteon? I thought. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking a regular Jolteon that has... Hmm. Hmm, whoops. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> um, I guess I could save the plus power, because I'm just going to swap in Star You anyway. And Super Sai! <laughs> Yeah, I'll just... I, I thought about recovering with Kadabra, you know, discard the one Psychic Energy, but that's not gonna... Yeah, it's not gonna help that much, and especially when I get the free switch into a victory anyway, so... Big whoop. <laughs> yeah, the smokescreen doesn't even do anything to that as well, because I'm swapping into something else. There we go. We're gonna go plop a whole bunch of stuff. For a Professor Oak, which is probably going to turn into a Starmie. Probably. It's like a 2 plus powers. <laughs> it's just overkill in on itself. Because uh, it's going to be 20 damage plus 2 plus powers, but I just want to see if I get... Really? Still no Starmie? I guess it doesn't much matter. I mean, it's just... <laughs> I just, just wanted to see what I get out of that, you know? And there's a 60. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so yeah, it, it looked like, regardless of her bad draw first game, she was destined to lose in the end. You're amazing. Strong. I don't, I don't know if I count that on the first game, because I just got really lucky. Luck is not strong. <laughs> oh, this Dark Ninetales, um... It's got so, so many attack. Well, I mean, it's got so many coin flips to its attack. But it, you know, it's like a, they're all coin flips. Um, but yeah, for this here, Miss Lead, you might not be able to draw, draw a card. So it's the time seal of Pokemon in a way. But this nine tail that flip nine coins, 10 damage times the number of heads, will average 40 or 50. So I guess you could say 45. Um, but it takes forever for that attack to actually finish because all those coin flips. So. <laughs> But it can do a lot of damage, so it may be something that you want to consider. Uh, that Onyx... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you may... Uh, when you dis when you discard a card from your hand in order to play it, but then your opponent shuffles his or hand into the deck and then draws four cards. So if they used Professor Oak on the previous turn or something like that, or just had a generally high amount of cards in their hand, you could suck them down to four cards. It's uh, not too bad of a hand control card, but you must discard something of your own in exchange for that, so you gotta make sure that you're playing that when you can gain card advantage. Because it's a minus two when you play this for yourself. Uh, oh, anyway. Nerd Gloom. Okay. Another pack. Yeah, let's see what we get here. Zaz. Another Scyther, very nice for the Fireweed deck. And the Wallach. 
Could have kind of used that when I had all the EVs in there, but. <laughs> uh, okay. Deck, you're using handle it well. well. Thank you, thank you. And speaking of handling it well, I've got, I've got to kind of swap back those EVs if you don't mind. Well, actually, more specifically, I've got to go and uh, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff, and then I can undo the EVs as I'm not making an EV theme deck or anything like that. And then, oh wait, 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 no, it was over here. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm. I do need to do things in both columns. I'm just getting ahead of myself here. I'm just trying to remember what I did for my modifications. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna plop that Mewtwo back in. But also, as long as we're here, we can now try the challenge in place of a bill. How do you like that? Just imagine if I can power up Wigglytuff with that. <laughs> Uh, actually, yes, I will. Uh, and I would say that is an improvement to the deck. So there we go, and let's -a go. The final room. So this is the source of all the lava. Kind of, <laughs> it's coming from somewhere up that way. I can't climb the wall, unfortunately. My name's Bernard. I'm the leader of Team Jar's Fire Fortress, but I'm also the head chef. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't look like a cook. Before we get down to business, listen up. When our team puts special cards in our decks, we mean to use them. Putting pointless cards in a deck is a folly we don't aim to perform. Every card should be useful in a deck to claim a true victory. That's the ambition of the great Team GR. Except, you know, when you're forced to put in cards that you didn't intend to put in your deck because you didn't have the decks to fill out the evolutionary lines like the EVs with details. It's also the vision of our prestigious leader, King Vilasini. Keep that in mind when you meet any of our talented members. Now that we're acquainted, we may start our card battle. As the other fortress leaders, I have special dueling rules. Around this floating lava, fire Pokémon are especially robust. In fact, their common weakness to water is effectively ignored. No more double damage from water. Oh no! <laughs> Keep that on your mind. If you're ready, let's cook. <laughs> let's say no. Do you think you can stop my fire Pokémon with your water types? Fire Pokémon have no weakness to water during card battles here. If you want a modifier deck, make it snappy. So you might want to forego the water Pokemon in favor of something powerful of their own, but I think I'll be okay with this, because I've still got the Paralysis and Energy Removal. Energy Removal is a big hindrance to fire Pokemon because of all their discards. But anyway, allow me to lay down the terms of a card battle against me. If you defeat me, I'll hand over the GR Fire Coin. However, there's some additional information you should be wary of. Around all this molten lava, fire Pokemon are especially tough. Yep, different dialogue. He said robust, not tough. <laughs> I mean before. They're so tough, in fact, that they lose their weakness to water. Have you prepared your deck? Let's get cooking already. Yes! Let's make the greatest meal we've ever had! We'll use six prize cards. I'm interested just to see how well you can cook. And my deck recipe cannot lose! Well, it could lose, I guess, but... <laughs> Flame armor is in play. Beware! Beware! Yeah, it's okay. It's not really that that big of a factor in all honesty. Neither player! Wow! <laughs> but yeah, I was about to say, it's not really that big of a factor. Because you just have to play just in, expecta in, ugh, in expectation that you're not going to be able to cause any sort of double damage to fire Pokémon, which is perfectly fine. Although I've got iffy opening hand and all those basic Pokémon Still getting iffy hands. Oh no, that's a good Magmar to boot. He could. Ooh, he's gonna get a lot of fire out of that. Uh, so he's gonna be able to knock out Staryu on his next turn because he's gonna have the smog attack. Well, uh, he has the potential to knock out Staryu on the next turn because of the smog attack. The uh, smog can do the poison, which would. Yeah, and I don't have bench Pokemon, so I'm kind of in the same situation as uh, uh, Ellen back there, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how things turn out. Let's plop that there. I guess I could do Defender and Energy Removal to kind of stall that Magmar out. And slap. There we go. So, I guess maybe the Magmar is not that big of a deal at this moment in time. 
He will go for the smoke screen, yeah, because it could still prevent me from attacking him. Uh, so that's that makes sense to use. All right, water. I guess I'll try plopping it on Staryu, even though I'm kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Slap, come on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she'll. If she gets the. I'm, if he gets the coin full of pads, I'm uh, kind of a goner by. Oh no, he's a, not going for the poison. I would say that is a lapse in AI. Please, basic. Please, basic. <laughs> um. All right. Unless she, unless he's planning on uh, going for the. Uh, oh, I should have put the plus power. I'm an idiot. Um. I. Uh, unless he's going for the energy card on the next turn to do the smoke screen. Yeah. I. I think this was a losing battle anyway. <laughs> Just in general. I mean, yeah, I would have gotten that. Uh, Magmar KO, but then she... Why do I keep saying she? I'm thinking of Ellen too much. Uh, but yeah, there, there's the other critters on the bench anyway, so... Well, that's what happens. Just like with Ellen. I'm not finished. I haven't done I want, all I wanted to do in a card battle. Come on, battle again with me. I promise you'll be back. Yes. Uh, same dialogue, yes. We go again! <laughs> and Flame Armor. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, some some more basics would be kind of nice, Mr. Deck. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, that's... Oh, maybe I should have swapped with that other Jinx I was talking about, because the water energy. Um... Well... What do I want to do here? I'm trying to think of probabilities here. I, th I probably should save the Abra. In case of evolutions, because they both require uh, psychic energy, and the Jinx has more HP in general, so yeah. Anyway, let's see. Uh, 20 damage, Charmander per turn, see how that turns out. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll attack with the Charmander to nick down Jinx's HP. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, that will do. That will do. Oh yeah, you know, I, always, I always forget about Charmander's Gather Fire for some reason. Probably people yelling at me, but yeah, <laughs> if I use that, I can take energy cards, move them around, and whatnot. So, but I don't know why he used that. Like he attached the energy card to another Pokemon, then brought it back to Charmander. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll prepare for a future Kadabra, because Kadabra requires two Psychic and one of anything, so I can use that safely enough. And another Ponyta is a go-go. As effective as this deck was against uh, Ellen back there, it's kind of kind of hiccuping against him. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, we got we got a Dugong waiting in the wings now, potentially. So we're gonna kind of get that powered up, hopefully, and think of the future, basically, not the Jinx of now. Sorry, Jinx. Okay, there's the Dugong. I should probably energy removal stuff in the background. And I also, since I'm going to be playing Seal, I might as well plop Cadaver in play for the sake of extra HP. And yeah, I can't really do much of anything else. <laughs> we'll see how things go. Still many prize cards, still many bench critters. Uh, I'll do Seal. Okay, water, plop that on there, and headbutts. It will take three attacks for Charmander to KO my seal, so if I get any sort of energy card, I'll be able to start Aurora Beaming for 50. Oh no, not the coin flips! <laughs> well, we'll see how that turns out. Alright, so water, water, something, no. Mm. I wonder if I should save that. Like swap over to Kadabra, and then just save Dugong for the future so Seal doesn't get clobbered by stuff. Yeah, just having, I just have him in such an awkward spot. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we'll see how it turns out. There's always the chance of Professor Oak to turn things around. Oh, of course, he gets a Professor Oak. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. He does seem pretty happy with his hand, though. Yeah, look how many draw uh, cards he's drawn compared to, I, uh, to my deck. 
Alright, so there's 20. Uh, well, yeah, 30 because the plus power, but. Uh, Jigglypuff. Ooh! Uh, I could go for the wave. <laughs> Assuming I can get some more bench critters, but yeah, do the wave would be a pretty nice sweeping option. Well, I don't know what that what the point of the plus power was for. Hello. <laughs> okay, now I got something here. Now he's got a bunch of energy cards on Dark Nine Tails, so I'm gonna discard the energy attached to Kadabra since it's not really doing much, and knock down Dark Nine Tails. Oh, uh, it's Professor Oak, and say goodbye to Bernard. <laughs> Oh, Bill. Okay. Uh, Professor Oak and Bill. Oh, and I just seen I have challenge. Will you accept? Please accept. Please accept. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I was wondering if I could fill up the. You might have noticed because I was trying to combine it with Wigglytuff, but I had to dump that out on the last, uh, the last move because I, you know, I was running out of. Uh, I mean, I wanted to. Yeah, I, I was running out of turns basically, and I had to use Professor Oak sooner than later. Alright, so, now we're getting our bench filled. I think it's gonna be a game over. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might as well plan that for the future. Energy removal, also... Pr yeah, also on Dark Ninetales. That coin flip is just horrible to sit through. <laughs> uh, I'll wait it out. <clears throat> I can use another Professor Oak a little bit later. I got plenty of them. <laughs> Actually, those are my last two in the deck, but my hand is good now. Nightly Garbage Run. You can, you can grab a couple of critters there. I got the Dark Ninetales back. Well, one of the Dark Ninetales, but well. Okay, so you got another prize card on me. But we are definitely having a much better tool than the last game. Alright, Dugong is a go-go. Oop. And... Yeah, when I when I start attacking with Wigglytuff, then I'll surprise that the Professor Oak can fill up the bench. Got it's good. Roar Beam for now, knock out that Charmander. Not double damage, of course, because you know the special rule, but well, whatever. Doesn't much matter when I have the big ol' <clears throat> big ol' fish. <laughs> Messing up my own wordages. It's okay though. And fireworks. Maybe. Maybe it'll be a discard. Oh. <laughs> well, that works in his favor. Yeah, I, for I forgot to mention this version of Ponyta here. The kick does 10, but fireworks is 20 with a potential of discard, so it could be a pretty quick attacker overall. Um, Staryu. Let's go ahead and... Psychic on Wigglytuff. You see where I'm going for here. And Aurora Beam. Knock out another Ponyta for another prize card to even it up. And probably gonna go for another 20 out of this. Keep nicking away at Dugong. Now when that Professor Oak comes and Wigglytuff is out, it will be game over. <laughs> oh, energy removal. I will use that on this Rapidash actually because that Rapidash version can with agility can do a lot of damage prevention, so... I'm actually more concerned about that than the waiting for the coin flips thing, so... Alright, so I'm gonna go... Actually... We're in good position here. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Get another two gone. Uh, power up the star <laughs> Starmie as well. And Aurora Beam. I'll save the plus power because it won't much matter if I use it this turn anyway. And another wiggly sub, yes! <laughs> oh, jeez, this is not gonna be pretty for him. As the do the wave sweeps everything, I cannot draw a card, alas, 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 at least at the start of my own turn. Because you see, mislead, they don't draw a card at the beginning of their next turn. So I can still use Professor Oak to my heart's content. For now, though... Robbie. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, using those energy removals were quite beneficial. <laughs> He's probably gonna try and knock out Dugong. Yeah. Uh, but I've, I've got, got a little, little something waiting on the bench. Just, just a little something. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, Mewtwo, very nice. Get that powered up for the future. And... 
Hmm. I mean, I might as well. <laughs> I'm gonna play Professor Oak anyway. I don't think I'll need the other Wigglytuff in all honesty, so... Let's just go ahead and... Fill up our bench. Two spaces. What do you think we got? Think you got two basics? Oh yeah, we do. Oh... <laughs> uh, I guess I'll do Abra and Staryu for the variety. Energy removal on... I guess Dark Ninetales, because I'm going to knock out the Charmander, just to possibly prevent any prevention of drawing. Do the wave for 60. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess the plus power is 70, but yeah, he, that was just because I was going to discard it Professor Oak anyway, but yeah. This is where the power of Wigglytuff comes into play. <laughs> it's like, when you have a fully powered up Wigglytuff, it's pretty much game over for the most part. I mean, yeah, you could counter with a fighting Pokemon if you have them in your deck, or keep whittling away at it, but chances are, by the time anything you have is able to knock out Wigglytuff because of all of its HP, it's gonna be the end. <laughs> oh, jeez. And it's got 70 HP there. Only I had that plus power, but I would have been forced to discard it anyway, as I said, so. Big whooper. Or big whooper. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll do that. And I will do the wave. Probably gonna do some switcheroos. But that was probably his best move. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that Rapidash has a free retreat cost, but I guess it doesn't matter which one he switches to. Because it's all below 60 HP. So... For the fun of it, <laughs> and do the wave! Huzzah! The audience cheers for Wigglytuff and bolsters its power! <laughs> and that's how Wigglytuff wins games. Ugh, it, it was fun. <laughs> the way you handle your cards has shown me a thing or two. Ambushin, let's go! Duck Hypno. Um, side punch, just basic 1 for 20, not bad. Bench manipulation, and this could potentially do a lot of damage. That's kind of like a wiggly tough counter in a way, I guess you could say. So it's kind of ironic that I got this one. Um, Imposter Rogue's Revenge. Okay. <laughs> And we are good with that pack. Let's see what's in the second. Yeah! Oh! oh stalling Mewtwo. Could do a bunch with energy cards. You know, the more energy they have attached, the more power it's got. But the barrier is, uh... This, this is what we call Mulligan Mewtwo, a, a part of this uh, that sort of deck, if you've ever heard of that before. Um, basically, you just put, like, a I Imposter Professor Oak or two for Mewtwo, and then the rest are Psychic Energy. And then you just keep doing barrier until you win the game by stalling them out of cards. <laughs> um, it doesn't really work all that well, because if the opponent has energy removal, which they probably will, Mewtwo won't be able to use barrier every turn consistently, so... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on through the pack. Okay, we're good. I'd love to see how Vilsini handles your imaginative, <laughs> imaginative playstyle. Here, take this, the GR Fire coin. And I've been hanging around just with the same coin for a while. I should start switching coins again. <laughs> I just like to use one for a while and then swap off to another coin, but well, it's been kind of a while since I've done a swap in general, so... <laughs> I wonder just how far you'll make it on this island. I hope you return sometime for a casual duel or two. I still hope you'll be visiting the GR Water Fortress next, eh? Maybe. I just want to see your dialogue. <laughs> I recall our previous card battle. Your ingenuity was so hot. No matter. Let's have a duel. The lava flows here make fire Pokemon exquisitely robust. The weakness to water attack is virtually eliminated. I think it's a little bit of different dialogue, even though I ever used the robust line. You didn't forget, did you? Let's have a card battle. Nah. I'll be waiting patiently for our next match. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we continue on our epic card adventure.